Hello everybody and welcome to Starbound, or as it's otherwise known, not Terraria in space. At least that's what I keep getting told. I haven't seen it from the few Let's Plays that I've seen already, but everybody keeps telling me that, so I'm going to give it a try, and I'm going to pretend that it's not Terraria, or at least I'm going to try to ignore that completely, and give it its own fair shake. Um, so... Let's begin. I've already fiddled with the options, which there aren't too many. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll fiddle with it, see what we need music as at, or, si or sound effects wise and all that fun crap. But uh, what's cool is that we have multiplayer and we have single player. Um, and if we really, really like it, I think Community Craft is going to like have a, a its own Starbound server. But... I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's start. We gotta create a character. Okay. Uh, we got a species. So we can have a bird, human, some kind of bird, a monkey, flora. Okay. Um, I don't know. And a robot. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Is that like a bug or something? I don't know, but I think the floor is actually pretty cool. Oh, okay, that looks awesome. Guess what? That's that's what it's that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be him. And of course, I'm going to be Chrono. I mean, duh. Uh, what is that? Oh, uh male, female. At least I think that's what that's saying. I don't know, the chest changes, that's about it. Alright, well, let's let's get ourselves started. I don't know what mode is, though. No idea. Tired of the Florian savagery, you have taken to the stars to pursue a more honorable hunt. Your ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet. Before setting out in search of fuel, search your ship's storage for a matter manipulator. Press E to interact with objects. Okay, now, um... I can see my character. Holy crap. <laughs> it's not itty bitty tiny. Alright, anyways, uh, let's see. E to interact with stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, that's my inventory screen. And this would be the ship's locker, I take it. Uh, matter manipulator, alright. Um, oh, so it went up here. So wait, does this qualify as part of my storage? Yeah, it's not sent showing up here, so I would assume it is. We got torches. Let's put the torches up in zero, where they're most common for me. Uh, bone boo seed. Good source of calcium. Oh, it's like the plant creature from uh, Farscape? No, I don't mean Zahn. I mean the other, the bone-eating creature that was in that episode after Talon was born. Broken Venus Sword. Ooh, let's... Actually, let's put you in number one. Uh, let's put that there. And then Wheat Seeds. Yay, seeds. Alright, so let's put that down there. Alright, so that's done. Hey, I got a quest complete. Yes, there's actually quests in this, unlike all the other games that uh, this has been inspired by. Well done. The Matter Manipulator allows you to manipulate almost anything in the game world. Okay, day. It's time to search the planet for fuel. To survive down there, you will need tools. To produce tools, you will need to make yourself a crafting table. Use your ship's teleportation platform to beam down. Okay. Hang on, let's see what else we have. We have this thing, which is a 3D printer. Which I have no idea how to use. I'm assuming I'll get to that later. That is... My fuel tank, I have no fuel, okay. And then the ship, which lets me, obviously, fly places. Can I change where... Nope. Oh, no, but I can zoom in by clicking. And zoom out by right-clicking. Ooh, that's actually pretty sweet. That is actually really, really cool. But I can't zoom in to the planet anywhere. All right, go away. All right, let's teleport down. I like my ship is made out of plants. <laughs> Silly concept, but whatever. 
Alpha Luluit. No, Lululit. That's what that said. Okay, so how do we do this thing? I would assume this is from what I've seen. Yeah. So we right click to to beat stuff up. And then basically we dig, I guess. Which theoretically digging here is probably not a wise idea because this is where I teleported to. Um, so I should probably be digging somewhere else. Oh, you pick them up in ba- or you put them down in batches of four? That is a huge sword. It's also a pretty sweet looking sword. Okay, so let's... Let's, uh, I don't know. Ooh, let's cut down a tree. That is a metallic tree. Seriously, that is a metal tree. That is awesome. Come on. Oh, this takes forever. I do know that you could eventually speed this stuff up by getting tools, but I know very, very little about this game. It explodes into wood. Into unrefined wood. Are you peaceful creatures? Yeah, okay, you are. You probably won't be after I'm done here, but... Okay, so if I teleport here, let's basically build our environment around here. Um, no. E. No. How do I bring up my inventory? I don't know. I. I brings up inventory. E to interact with thing. I to bring up the inventory. Okay. Um, how do I craft things? Wait, where's the wood I just picked up? Oh, it's up here. So... If I want to craft something, how do I go about doing that? Ah! That button, okay. This button over here, which is C to craft things. Okay. Interesting. And then I can pick and choose what I want to craft out of the items that I have. Uh, so if I want a wooden crafting table, I need wooden planks, which I can get wooden planks from unrefined wood, which I can get three planks from one unrefined wood. I think that's what that says. Are you dangerous? No. Okay. I recognize this style of gameplay, where you're always looking the direction your mouse is. I don't remember what I learned it from. Like Contra or something, maybe? I don't remember. Anyway, so C to craft. I want wood planks, so let's craft some up some wood planks. I guess that, yeah, that went straight into my inventory, so let's get a whole bunch of wooden planks. Oh, wow, how many freaking wooden planks does that take? 35. Wow. That takes a lot. All right, so now I have a crafting table, so let's... Quest complete! I've got 10 pixels. Well done. Using the crafting table will give you access to a wide range of new recipes, except reward. By now, you're liking beginning to feel hungry. Really? Which one's my hungry bar? Is that this one here, maybe? I don't know. Um, food can be found in a variety of places built in... But in a pinch, hunting is your best option. Obtain some alien meat by killing a monster with a bow and cook it in a campfire to produce cooked alien meat. All right, it's raining, so I should build a cave and actually like build crap in there. So let's start tearing this out and we'll build a cave right here. And then that will give me general protection from the environment, theoretically anyways. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, if I start building in here, get general protection from the environment. Though it takes absolutely forever to dig things out. I can't wait till I can make, like, a pickaxe or something. Come on. Cobblestone takes forever. Alright, this will do me for now. Let's put down our crafting table. There. And then, C. Uh, 
Oh, I have torches. Yeah, I have ten, tor ten torches. Oh, I could sell them for 500. I was going to say, what the hell is that 500 there? All right, so if I wanted to make torches, I would need coal and unrefined wood. Well, I have unrefined wood, but I would need coal. Um, but let's make a campfire for right now. And we'll put down the campfire near the entrance of the cave. That way it's more like more like you're actually paying attention to, you know, safety and crap. You don't want the campfire way back here because you won't be able to breathe. Alright, so now I need a bow, which means I need to use E to access the crafting table, not C. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need a bow, so let's start there. There's a hunting bow. Okay, I need plant fiber and unrefined wood, so I need to cut down more trees, and I need this plant fiber stuff. No, that's my flashlight. I need that thing. Okay. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to. Like I said, I just started playing Terraria, so I got used to those controls a little bit. So I'm going to have to get used to these controls, but then again, that's pretty much the same for any game. You kind of have to get used to the new controls. Um, are you something I have to worry about? Yes! Yes, you are. Crap. It's a guy named Body Slam. He ran away. Come back here, you bastard. Come on. Yay! He's dead now. Okay, so watch out for the guys with the many, many eyes. But these guys won't kill you. Alright. I just like knowing who my enemies are. <laughs> Which way are you gonna fall? There's a nice pretty cave that I can start digging down into. But I think that's coal right there. So I can make torches later. That's coal. I'm injured. Where is my hunger bar? How do I know if I'm hungry? Yay! More unrefined wood. And then we'll start digging out the coal that's right here. That's my hunger bar. <laughs> that answers that question. That's kind of obvious now that I see it. Come on. There we go. Alright, well, let's 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 make our bow first. So E. Uh let's see. Bow, bow, bow. Hunting bow. I need... Oh, right. I need plant fiber. Where do I get this plant fiber? I may not have been paying attention when it actually explained how to get plant fiber. Though I could have sworn I actually read the entire thing. do Digging this stuff out is a pain in the ass. Alright, so let's see. Let's put on some torches. Just so I can see what, what I'm doing. What is this? Is that plant fiber by chance? This green stuff that's here? Or maybe that purple stuff that I just had eyesight. I would assume this is cobblestone I'm digging into. Yeah, it is, because it's taking forever. Up. That's most definitely not plant fiber. But I'm thinking that purple stuff down in the corner there. Just just inside the range of light. That goes a very long way through stone. Eh, whatever. Now this is the beta version of Starbound. Beta 1 from my understanding from what other people are telling me. Um, I don't know. On the front of the thing it actually says... Beta 5, but I might be reading that wrong. Oh. Riveting video! Where I'm sitting here just clicking on things. Mildly bored. The next thing I'm building is a pickaxe. Once I take care of the barest necessities, I mean, that's how you have to do it. You gotta worry about, like, what are the five things? You gotta worry about food, water, shelter, 
Um, outside of that, I don't remember. Right, do I have to go this way? Apparently I have to go this way and then around before I can chop down the cobblestone that the purple thing's attached to. Come on. I wonder if you could upgrade this thing. Okay, that's shaking, that thing's shaking like a madman, but it's not doing anything. Just, there we go. About time. Ooh, and I got six plant fire river from that. That's actually a lot. All right, let's get up out of here and go make a bow. Too high. E. Let's see, bow, bow, bow. Hunting bow! Craft that bad boy. Put you here. I should put you in my inventory because I don't need, like, this stuff hanging about. Dirt block. Well, no, let's put dirt block there. That way I have building material in case I need it. I think this mouse might be a little too sensitive for my taste. Alrighty. And I'm not sure how these work. I don't know what the L or R and R are for. Maybe it's for when you're playing with the controller? I don't know. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that know better than I do. Anyways. I know, I'm in resource gathering mode. That's how I usually am. Alrighty, so. Oh, crap, it spits at me. Pretty vicious, too. Alright, so I got meat, so let's cook this guy on the campfire. Yep. Yeah, E to interact with pretty much everything. So we put that in there and cook. Oh, that was quick, at least. Quest complete! Enjoy! If you're a vegetarian, toss it away and start planting crops. Yeah, I, I don't think you could be a vegetarian when you have no food. Pretty much, you take what you get. It's time to craft a furnace. You'll need to obtain some cobblestone, a campfire, and some coal. If you'd like to know exactly how much of each you need, access the crafting table, untick materials available, and mouse over the recipe to see its ingredients. Well, that's what I've been doing. So let's see, it's cobblestone brick. Furnace, 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 furnace. Am I not seeing it? Maybe I'm not seeing it. Let's try this again. Metal workstation, wooden crafting table, bandage, yarn spinner. Ooh, stone pickaxe. I need more wood. Okay, yeah, that's the next thing I'm going to be working on. Stone furnace, here we go. I need to make a campfire. Okay, so campfire. Campfire I have. So we craft this guy. And then we go down here and we get our stone furnace. Craft. Quest complete! Yay! Out of the frying pan. Awesome! It's about time you play with fire. Uh, next, we need to get you some armor. Working with metal requires an anvil, but before we can craft one, you'll need to melt some iron ore, obtain two iron ore, and smelt it in a furnace to attain an iron bar. Okay. First things first, though. Let's, let's plunk this guy down right there and then I guess we gotta start digging down oh I should probably eat that my health's very low how do I regen regen health it's a very good question question that I do not know the answer to and I guess I would have to start digging down for iron I haven't seen any, uh, like, surface iron or anything. And since it's all cobblestone, I guess this is going to be a little while. So I might just skip this part while I'm just endlessly digging. 
Well, after a little while of digging, I've got this far. Basically, I got from here to here. Yeah, not that far. I'm sick of dealing with this crap. Oh, crap. The sun's already up. Screw this crap. We need... Are you guys hostile? No. Okay. We need a pickaxe. Let, let's get some serious tools involved here. You're hostile, though. Ow. I died. I apparently am born out of vines. Interesting. <laughs> and I don't lose my inventory, which is a total bonus. Because then I don't have to worry about uh, going after the crap that I just lost. Come on. Why can't I teleport? Oh, do I have to be hovering over it to for it to interact with it? All right. Leave me alone. I just need wood. What are you? Are you hostile? Yes. God. Thank you. Hey. Pretty interesting how the metal tree falls down and turns into a bunch of unrefined wood. But it's pretty neat that it falls down. It doesn't just collapse into piles of wood like Terraria or Minecraft. Well, technically Minecraft, it doesn't collapse at all, but you get my point. All right, let's see. I want a stone pickaxe, which means I need wood planks, which means I have to get wood planks, obviously. Um, so if we get wood planks, let's craft a bunch of them. Then, stone pickaxe! Yay! Alright, let's, let's actually move you to last place, because you're kind of important. Let's move you there. All right, let's see what we can do with this thing. Not much faster. <laughs> Though I seem to be able to do far more than just... Uh... Yeah, than just the, 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 the thing. Yeah, I seem to be able to do a 3x3 three three chunk area. Which is a little faster, I guess. Kind of useful. But I guess I'm digging down some more. I wonder how far I can dig down before I get to the underworld or something. Or lava. Just general places that I don't want to be. Which I would guess is a very large chunk of this game I wouldn't want to be in. So wait, how do I just, like... If I wanted to just knock off this one brick, how would, well, I guess that's how I would do it. So this thing isn't very accurate, I'm assuming, then. You can't uh, do one block at a time. You can't be very precise, I would, it would seem, anyways. Interesting choice in game mechanics. I don't know. It... Mm, okay, right click to knock out the back. Left click to work on the front. Okay. What if I middle click? Nothing! Uh, shift click? Shift clicking, you can knock out one black at a time. Okay, so, ne so we can be specific. It's just a little weird how you have to be specific. Okay. I see. I see. Pop. Well, at least I'm getting a lot of cobblestone. Guess I can make a house kind of next. Assuming I could ever actually get anywhere. Psst. Ooh, what's over here? Let's go this way. I see a cave type area. Boop. Boop. 
Oh, there's a red bar underneath my pickaxe. My pickaxe takes his damage. That's something to keep in mind. My pickaxe takes damage. Ah. That is kind of one of the things I really did like in Terraria, is that I didn't have to worry about pickaxes taking damage. I could just keep playing. Though this stone pickaxe is lasting forever. So it would appear that... What the heck is this? Mmm. Chest type thing. Lots of dirt. Yeah, dirt blocks. I wonder what the water physics are like. Let's find out. I don't hear the clicking like I did. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Like if you hear, you can hear birds and then like static kind of ish, like background wind or something like that. But if you go underwater, you can still hear the birds, but it's dimmer. And now I hear nothing background noise-wise. That is awesome. <laughs> I never thought that would actually be cool. Okay, that answers that question. Water physics are a thing. Now, I know this game does heavily resemble Terraria because it was kind of made by the same people. Not the same company or anything, but some of the people that made Terraria went off and made this game as well. Um, I don't know all the details or anything like that, but yeah, something like that. So that's why that's why it resembles Terraria. And so far, outside of a few game mechanics, I'm not seeing how this is not Terraria in space. I mean, at this point, we're not even in space. It's just... We have a spaceship that we can't use because it's, you know, broken at the moment. It's out of fuel. But, uh, oh, that is one thing that I see that we can do. We can swim! Something you can't do in Terraria. Which always blew my mind that you couldn't swim in Terraria. I'm like, this guy doesn't know how to swim? What the crap? Yes, I know. I told myself that I wasn't going to compare this to Terraria, but here I am comparing it to Terraria. I mean, how can you not? I mean, look at this game. It's very similar. Like, I mean, even the water physics work the same. Though I'm quite glad that they do, honestly. The, the water physics in Minecraft actually did kind of piss me off. Pop. 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 Well, so far, I'm not 100% sure what I think about this game. I don't know if it's like a, a good game yet or what, but I haven't played it for that long yet, obviously. I've been. I just started it on video at that, too. But this looks like one of those games that uh, can be considered kind of dangerous because you can just start playing it and you keep playing it and then just seeing what's all around. Apparently I picked a very warm planet or at least stumbled upon a very warm planet because all of the Let's Plays that I've seen so far, they would go into water like this and that cold thing would show up. Either that or it's not a cold thing it's a light sensor. Because uh, I heard that was two things. There's a bar that shows up at the bottom that has a sun on it. Some people say it's a light... They have this thing right here. That bar right there. Some people seem to think that it's like a, 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 a warmness kind of thing. Once it gets down, you freeze. Uh, but another thing I heard is that it's like a sanity bar. Like uh, on uh, uh, Amnesia. 
where if you if you're out of the light for too long, you kind of go insane. I don't know. So far, I'm not seeing anything that actually like tells me what that means. I'm assuming that it will be in the tutorial somewhere. I found a something. I don't know what this something is that I found, but I found something. Oh, it's a purple thing again. It's just plant fibers. And more of those guys. Hmm. Does the pickaxe work on these things? Yes, the pickaxe works on these things. Cool. We've got to watch out for those guys. I haven't seen any iron yet, though. That's kind of disappointing, actually. Yay! Well, I'm very much in the light and nothing's going down, so the idea that it's a light sensor might be uh, disproven. It might not be a light sensor. It might actually be cold. But that's the first thing I heard, is that it's actually cold, not light. Can I beat you with the pickaxe? No, I cannot. So you cannot beat these guys with the pickaxe. Okay, so he's dead. And he's frozen. Yeah, he's stuck. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Boing. I can't jump up there? I can't jump up there. Okay. Yay! Okay. <laughs> game on! At least the important part of the game, anyways. I would assume plant fiber is useful for other things, like binding other things together. But, obviously I don't know yet. I don't know, I'm rambling at this point. Uh, it's... Interesting game, I'd have to say. I love the physics, the animations, like the trees falling and stuff like that. That's actually pretty cool. And some of the little details are really neat, like you're looking in the direction of your mouse. That always struck me as very odd in Terraria, is that you weren't looking in the direction that you were pointing. So it was a little odd for me, but I got over it, I guess. Woo! I wonder if you can actually sleep the night away in this game. Okay. What all can I make? I can make a door. I can make crates. I wonder what the crates do. Do they do anything interesting? A mysterious wooden crate. It's just a mysterious wooden crate. Maybe it's for decoration. I don't know. I can make a table, chair. It's a cooking table. A bed. Oh, I just need wood planks for a bed. Let's find out. Wooden planks. Craft, 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 craft. Okay, and let's make our bed. Let's see, the bed's further down. Wooden bed. Craft. All right, now I have a bed. So now let's dig out an area for, for me to use the bed. I have no idea how big it has to be or what the requirements are or anything. I have yet to see a wiki for all of this. But that's probably because I haven't actually looked for a wiki for all of this. All right, bed, there, right click, left click. No, nothing. Do I need a door? Let's, let's, all right, let's put that down. Let's dig this out. And we'll put some dirt there. Yeah, okay, so regular use is big blocks of things. If you hold shift, it's little blocks of things which is kind of neat. Then I can put a door here. So let's let's make us a door. Door, 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 table. Gate. Door. Craft. All right, so I want to put the door. Wow, big door. Um, I would guess that the door needs a top as well. So let's dig out this area. 
see if we put the door here. Yes, I have a door. Eat or interact with it, okay. Oh, that probably means I have to hold E to interact with the bed. Yay, I'm sleeping! Well, nothing's happening. I have no idea what's going on, but I'm going to end the episode here. I will probably keep... I just had a silly thought. Um... That has one hand on the four, but that has two hands on the pickaxe. So I wonder if that means that I can hold things with two hands. Or, like, hold two things in each hand. Like, that flashlight has... is just one hand. But this thing is two hands. So I wonder if that means that I can hold some things with one hand... Some things with two hands, which if I can do that, that means that I can hold something else with the other hand. Wait, wait okay, that's an interesting concept. I don't know how I'm going to select stuff, but uh, anyways, okay, so I'm going to end the episode here. I'll probably keep on searching around, digging around, looking for things. Um, like, specifically, I'm looking for iron. But until then, until the next episode, I will say to you guys, as always, keep playing the game and have fun.